Today there is a lot of choice uh, in the supermarket. So if you go to the supermarket, uh, there are plenty of products. So it's quite difficult for a consumer to know which product is more healthy uh, than another product. So in the overload of choice, there is difficulty to, to make choices uh, for my specific uh, needs. So my specific needs and the needs of a family. Uh, there is a lot of information on the package, but the information on the label, on the package, it's not always easy to understand. First of all, a consumer should be able to read it, it's quite small. In second place, uh, they need to understand the quite difficult words. The third place is the product that also matching my profile, of the profile of the family. So it's not easy to understand all of the products. Another example of um, why is it difficult for making choices as a consumer in the supermarket is not all the information is there. Imagine uh, you go to the doctor, the doctor says to you, you have to eat more vitamins B, you have to eat more vitamin X uh, and other minerals. This information is not on the package. Second step, uh, once you have the different products, you have the information, you need to compare it to other products. So which product is more healthy for me than another product? So in that perspective, it's quite difficult to make choices. There we believe that uh, with digital support, it's, it's easier to support the consumer in finding the right choice. So I think with, uh, from a perspective of a retailer, uh, there are plenty of opportunities to help the consumer in finding the way uh, while going to shopping. Uh, this can be on a product level, uh, providing the right filters, selecting the right filters, people that want to have vegan food, people that want to have uh, less fat food, uh, so that people can select uh, that on an easy way. It can also be on a recipe level. A lot of people think in, uh, in inspirational ways. So how can we embrace our consumer in finding the right and healthy recipes uh, for, for their uh, behavior and their consum consumption? So that's, that's another element. A third element, uh, as a retailer, we have a lot of information on consumers, meaning that we know the buying history, we know what people bought. So how can we use this data to acknowledge people what they are eating and to help them and supporting them in, in, in their appropriate way?